Hi everyone, here's a quick video on using various brushes and exploring how they work in Pixlr E, which would also be similar to using in Photoshop. They're very, very similar on the way they act. All right, so we're gonna start with a new file, the blank file. We're not gonna upload an image on this one. We're gonna start with a blank canvas. So let's go ahead and click on create new at our home screen in Pixlr. Now for this one, we're gonna start off with a fairly small image, which is just 800 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall. Web small is what they call it, but if you can't find this, you could actually just come in the width box and type in 800 and the height, we could type 600. And this one, for this assignment, we're gonna be painting your favorite place to be. So let's go ahead and name it my fave place. And in this case, I'm gonna actually have the background turned on. If it's turned off like this, it's gonna be empty. There will be no pixels to start with, a completely blank canvas. In this, for this assignment, I find it easier to turn it on and let's start off with just a white background, like a white canvas or a white sheet of paper. Well, let's go ahead and create this file. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna talk about using various brushes, which they call it the draw tool. But as you can see right there at the bottom, it says keyboard shortcut is B. So if you wanna to go to your brush tool, you can just hit B on your keyboard. All right, close to add, which is this B for brush. Now, the way the brush works is right here, you could choose your foreground color. I'm gonna click on this tan circle right here. And I'm gonna start off with, let's just, with a blue. We could change the slider to change the hue wherever we want. And then we could also click around to choose different shades of blue. All the way from dark, desaturated, to total saturated, full of color, or lighter. I'm gonna just choose a blue right in here. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is brushes with different size. Here, I'm just gonna click and drag. Here's all your brush settings under this dropdown. This slider for size, I'm gonna draw, drag this bigger, and as you can see, it'll just create a larger size brush. The next thing I wanna discuss is what they call softness. Now, if you increase the softness completely, what it does is makes it blurry, kind of like a soft edge, more like, think of a spray can, where it kind of has a little bit of a feather or a blur to the edges. Let me increase the size of the brush, a little bit larger. Actually, it's gonna be really large, but it's actually, I have the softness turned all the way down. Here, let me turn the size down a little bit. Let's go 130. And as you can see, it's um, nice and blurry when it's a soft. What we call a hard brush is I'm gonna turn the softness all the way down. Now it's gonna be more like a marker. It's gonna be just like a pen. There is not gonna be any blur to the edge. That is what we call a hard brush. Now, as you can see, it's kind of jumpy and choppy a little bit. So that is what is this step right here. The further you have the step, the further it's gonna apply less paint in a continuous fashion. I usually turn the step on, honestly, almost completely turned down to 0%. And let me, again, let me turn that down just a little bit. And there you can see, there's just a nice hard brush and um, with the step turned down and again, softness turned up. Now to make it a soft brush, you do need to increase the step just a little bit or it doesn't come out very it doesn't come out very, oops, too much of a step right there. All right, the other thing I wanna show you is the opacity of what you're painting. I'm gonna change the color to, let's say this nice hot pink fuchsia. And when you have a brush, let's turn this to a hard brush for sake of this example. When you have, I'm gonna turn the hardness all the way down. So when you paint, and right here, this is 100 opaque. There is no transparency. The opacity is, you cannot see through it. If you turn down the opacity, it paints, but it makes it a little bit lighter where you kind of see through it, all right? So for this assignment, favorite place, what we're gonna do is choose, you're gonna choose your favorite place. I'm gonna start off, let's just start off with some a nice soft brown on this bottom layer. To make this real easy to start with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with a real large brush. Remember, there's only 600 by 800 pixels. So here I'm gonna paint, oops, my opacity is turned down. Let's turn the opacity all the way up. And here we go. So I'm gonna draw a beach scene. Now for the assignment, I do want multiple layers to be used and I want them renamed also. So this first one, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna call this one sand. Now you do not have to do a beach scene. I'm gonna add a new layer, empty layer with nothing on it. I'm gonna call this one ocean. Now, honestly, I'll probably have a couple of them. You'll see later on. I'm gonna call this ocean one. And let's go and grab some, let's actually, we can just switch the colors. I'm gonna decrease the size of the brush. I'm like, okay, that's probably good. And I can start drawing my ocean right here. And this is where I'm gonna come up with my waves, okay? 
Now the next one is going to be, let's do a little bit of a sky. So I'm going to do a real light blue, click OK. Come over here to your layers. Let's add a new layer, plus sign, empty layer, and right click. And I'm going to call this one sky. Now for this one, Um, there is a little trick that if you um, if you click in one spot, hold shift and click in another spot across the page, it'll connect it in a straight line. So if you want to do it, it's a little bit easier than trying to draw a straight line across. We can just click once, hold shift, come to the other side, and there it can draw a nice straight line. All right, so I'm going to finish this off. Let's paint this sky. I'm going to do one other layer. I'm really going to kind of leave it up to you. Let's add our new layer empty and i'm going to call this one. right click on it and i'm going to call this clouds oops that's that, oops i don't know what i clicked right there one more time add new layer empty right click highlight where it says layer five i'm going to call this clouds now i'll probably call this clouds one because i'll probably have multiple layers of clouds now in this one i'm going to start off with white now there's a couple ways i could do clouds let me go back to my brush b for brush I'm going to turn this in. I'm going to turn up the softness so they're kind of fluffy, not hard clouds. And what I could do is I could come here and turn the opacity down and do real light and just do real soft clouds. But I'm going to do it one other different method. Uh, let me increase that brush size a little bit more. Let's go. Yeah. And I'm going to just kind of click some clouds in the sky. Uh, let's... I might come back and do some grays a little bit, you know, to come up with different things. And let's do even another, let's go even larger. Let's go 250 and do some more clouds. Now what I could do with this, instead of painting with a lighter brush, which again, I could have just turned down the opacity and there it's real light clouds, which I might want to do a combination. I can come back to this whole layer itself, the whole layer itself, I'm gonna right click on it and turn down the transparency of the whole layer itself. So again, on um, transparency, Turn this down and you could see it completely turns the clouds. I can make them go away completely or turn them back up. Let's go somewhere in the middle. All right. Now, if you're painting, there is one other thing I'd like to mention before the end of this video is if you are ever doing something, you do something on the wrong layer. Here I'm on the sky layer and I come back and I'm going to try to start painting some waves. Oops, I got my paintbrush way turned down. Oh, as you can see what happened, I did something I didn't like to do. That was what I was going to try to say. Control Z, all right, or edit, undo. Edit, undo, or mo like most every program out there, Control Z will undo what you were doing. So again, if anything happens, let me turn the opacity up. I'm going to turn this, turn the softness all the way down. And you paint something that you don't like, Control Z, and you're done. All right. So play around with this. I want to see different size brushes, different softness between soft and hard, different colors and different opacities. And I do want to see your layers labeled. All right. Have fun with this project. Let me know if you have any questions.